Okay, everyone, I'm back. Hope you got some popcorn, some candy, and some soda. Or water if you're very health conscious. Let's continue on with part three of my modern take on the classic Jules Verne tale Around the World in 80 Days. Now, where did I leave off? Oh, yeah. I was in Japan marveling at the sights and sounds of Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka. Like the Akihabara. And I was at at a sumo wrestling show in Tokyo. And I was in luck. Because there was actually a show going on. As in a sumo wrestling match between... Hideo Nakasaki and Takeshi Takeshiro. Yep. Hideo and Takeshi. And I was also listening to my portable stereo. And there was an announcement playing on the stereo. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Head to the New York Speedway and see some monster truck action with Hot Rod vers versus Demolition Derby Destruction. With a special guest appearance by Patsy Klein. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Be there! You know I'm going to be there. Because the fair was also being held that very day. So I traveled over to New York and stayed there for about a week. <laughs> and I was experiencing everything in New York. Like Times Square... Various different restaurants. Everything from Lombardi's Pizzeria. To Ludwig's. Ludwig's. German shop. You know. Geschafft. And. I was also experiencing Broadway with the Broadway revival of Mary Poppins based on the series of children's books by by R.O. Travers. And the New York fairgrounds was just overwhelmingly exciting because of all the food that was at the fairgrounds that particular night. And as Temple Templeton would say, the goose was right. This fair is a rat's paradise. Bye bye my humble Wilbur. Fare thee well Charlotte you old schemer. This will be a night to remember. A fair is a veritable smorgasbord, orgasbord, orgasbord, after the crowds have ceased. Each night when the lights go out, it can be found on the ground all around. Oh, what a rattly feast. Melon runs and bits of hot dogs, cookie crumbs and rotten cotton candy, melted ice cream, mustard dribblings, moldy goodies everywhere. Lots of popcorn, apple cores, banana peels, and soggy sandwiches of ga to cook to gorgeous gobble at the fair. <laughs> Pure classic Templeton. I tell you, the fair had a lot of great food to eat. Like like crispy fried chicken, juicy hamburgers, 
fried Oreos, fried cheesecake, fruity pebbles and shrimp on a stick. Fried Hershey's Kisses, lemonade, soda, iced tea, snow cones, ice cream, cotton candy of all different varieties, deep fried Butterfingers, deep fried gummy bears, I tell you, it was just so so tempting. Now I was thinking oh, candied apples, cotton candy, fried chicken. I'm back, baby. And I do mean I'm back. Then, for some unknown reason, Pepito from Madeline was actually teaming up with Muggsy from Heathcliff. Awkward. But don't worry, Pepito didn't hang around with Muggsy for very long. Trust me, I've watched a lot of Madeline and Heathcliff. Because of Andrea Lipman in the former and Mel Blanc in the latter. Like, I am Madeline. You're, you're so funny, Papito. I remember the first time we met. That's the guy on TV. Trying to break in, eh? Well, if I can't get in, then he can't get in. So you call that a disguise, huh? I'll show you the disguise, all right? Believe it or not, you can get a cat to come when you want. And I'm going to show you how. First, your basic cat, your basic treat. Come, come, come. Good boy, Mungo. Now we're going to do it again and again until you get it right. Come. Good boy, Mungo. You're leaning faster than Lassie. I tell you, I have nothing but respect for Mel Blanc. Anyway, back to the story. And then I was heading over to India. You know, to ride those really huge elephants. Like, okay, so it's not really an elephant trumpet, but at least I tried. And I was greeted by by very well-known people who are good at at you know meditation, like. The yin and yang. The salt and pepper. You know, a well-known rapper. And I was doing meditations like them. With the yin and yang necklace. That they told me I could keep. Positive energy in. Negative energy out. Positive energy in, negative energy out. Positive energy in, negative energy out. Positive energy in, negative energy out. And of course, semi homemade cookie with Sandra Lee and the Pioneer Woman with Reed Drummond were blasting for the television. Welcome to Semi Homemade. I'm Sandra Lee. Semi Homemade saves you time and money by combining 70% ready made foods with 30% fresh ingredients, and you'll have amazing results in minutes. 
I'm Ray Drummond. I'm a writer, vlogger, photographer, mother, and I'm an accidental country girl. I live in a ranch in the middle of nowhere, and all my recipes have to be approved by cowboys, hungry kids, and me. Here's what's happening on the ranch. For recipes from this episode, go to foodnetwork.com slash pioneerwoman. And of course, Mr. Food was also there doing some meditation. Like, oh sure, we're all big shots today. The parties, the liveliness, we spent more for food and we fuss more than we usually do. And we'll still be in our high tomorrow. And remember, any brands are fun. Done. Pass these potato lollipops around your neck, shindikis. Appetizers, along with any of your favorite dips. Or, they're perfect as they go along for so many of our main dishes. And everybody will love them. I mean, they're so clever. Wow, look, the recipe is online now. Ooh, it's so good. After my little crusade in India... I headed over I headed over to England. Good day, old chap. Cause I already know the British oxen by watching some Downton Abbey. What? I love me some Downton Abbey. Which aired on ITV in the UK and PBS in the U.S. in heavily butchered form. Trust me, the U.K. version is far superior. Yep, I was actually in England. Touring valuable tourist <laughs> valuable landmarks like Buckingham Palace and Big Ben. Probably the biggest clock tower in all of London. And I was at one of those restaurants that served fish and chips. And I actually said it in the perfect British accent. Fish and chips, mate. Good day, old chap. Pepper cheerio. Okay, that should be the end of part three of my modern take on Around the World in 80 Days. Stay tuned for part four as I continue the story. And I'll be right back after these messages, so stay tuned. And don't touch that dial.